It was a mad dash to the doctor's office and pharmacies today after the CDC approved COVID-19 vaccines for children as young as five. Parents looking to get their hands on the shots, but many of them came up short. Jessica Rank joins us live from the Arkansas Department of Health. And Jessica, the vaccine rollout, I guess you could say it really didn't go as planned. Yeah, Donna, well, yesterday, Governor Hutchinson said as soon as they got the green light from the CDC that parents could go ahead and start calling those pharmacies, calling those doctor's offices and make appointments. But we learned today that wasn't necessarily the case, and some pharmacists on the other end of those phone calls still didn't have answers for parents. The sunset signals the end of a workday in the Hillcrest neighborhood. Inside the doors of Kavanaugh Pharmacy, it's the first time all day the team can relax. Okay. Earlier, okay. things looked more like this. Kavanaugh Pharmacy, can I help you? How many calls do you think you guys have taken today? Oh, I can't even count. Pace says the calls for vaccines started early Wednesday morning. The phone's been ringing off the hook, plus people coming in asking questions. But there were few answers. It's all kind of seemed to be, for us, a work in progress. Tuesday, the governor said vaccines for 5 to 11-year-olds would be ready as soon as the CDC gave the green light. But Wednesday morning, pharmacies were left empty-handed. I went into panic mode. Ashley Simmons has a 6 and 9-year-old. I started with our pediatrician, and then I called the Pulaski County Health Department, and I called a couple different pharmacies immediately, um, and none of them knew nothing. Ashley says she made over 10 calls before finally getting an appointment about 30 minutes away. We immediately drove to school, got the boys, went down to Saline County to Benton, got their shots. Back at Kavanaugh, they say it could be days before the vaccine is available. And what I'll tell parents is just try to be patient. But they assure when the shots do come in, there'll be enough to go in arms. Now, the health department is in charge of distributing those vaccines, but it will have to go through a few different channels before it hits any single pharmacy. We do have a list of about 60 doctor's offices, pharmacies that are offering the vaccine as of now, and we have posted those on our website, fox16.com. That's the very latest out here on the health department. I'm Jessica Rank. Back to you.